Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. That's the wonderful promise of Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, the fourth beatitude. Um, it's a blessing for the breathless, those who have a, an inner poverty, a lack, a need that causes them to gasp in God, to access his resources. Um, and God wants to pour out that blessing because in his compassionate love, he, he, he yearns to uh, supply the needs of those who are weak and broken and poor. And uh, it's a wonderful promise, and it made me think of a few things. Firstly, what does righteousness mean? I think we kind of de define that quite narrowly as a kind of personal, moral code of conduct, a tick list um, of thou shalt not. And actually, it's much broader than that. The biblical vision is of, a, is of the whole of reality um, being righteous, centred on God, with everything recalibrated around him, right relationships, right actions, right motives, uh, a world of justice. And, and actually that word righteousness could be translated as justice. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice because they'll be filled. And maybe there are many people in this world who uh, find themselves in unjust circumstances, oppressed, um, troubled by broken circumstances, and they hunger and thirst, they yearn for God to come in and make that right. And God promises, Jesus promises, blessed are those because you're going to get filled. That's going to happen. Now we could say that's in a future sense, in, in the perfect way. At the end of, of time when Jesus comes again, um, he's going to put right the world and establish justice. That's a vision that's, gonna, that's coming. Um, but also, as we are taught to pray in the Lord's Prayer, we want to see God's kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, uh, here and now as it is on that last day. And one of the ways in which that the way is paved for that is precisely through this hunger and thirst. The deep yearnings of the human heart are incredibly powerful forces. What we yearn for, we, we create. What we yearn for affects the decisions that we make and the way we interact with others and the world around us. And, uh, and so we need to pay att close attention to those deep desires. Because what we, what we want, what we want to do, we make time for. What we yearn for, we, we create. Uh, that's just the way that our, our lives work. And, and the flip side of our blessing today is a curse. Cursed are those who hunger and thirst for unrighteousness because they're going to get filled as well. The principle there. And so the question today is what are the deep yearnings of our heart? Do we hunger and thirst for, for righteousness or not? And let's ask God to deepen that hunger and thirst, to make it a deep yearning in our lives, to see that reality unfold in our lives. And if we haven't got that hunger and thirst, let's, uh, let's hunger and thirst for that hunger and thirst. Let's ask God, um, let's tell him we yearn for a yearning, we desire a desire, and ask him to plant that deep hunger and thirst in our lives.